Lumbar puncture is a frequent medical procedure performed in emergency departments as well as in research protocols on neurodegenerative diseases. The STOP80 Center at the Douglas Mental Health University Institute, affiliated with McGill University, invites you to watch this video to learn important information on this procedure and to familiarize yourself with each step. Our brain and spinal cord are bathed in a transparent water-like liquid, cerebrospinal fluid or CSF, which contains vital information about the state of our brain. The procedure of the lumbar puncture consists of taking a sample of this fluid at the level of the lumbar vertebrae, without reaching the spinal cord, in a mass of dissociated nerves called the cauda equina, or horse's tail. The analysis of the constituents of CSF, such as proteins, is fundamental for scientific research. As a participant in Alzheimer's disease research, a medical team, doctor and nurse, will make sure you have no contraindications to the lumbar puncture protocol. You will receive a thorough medical examination, including a blood test, a neurological examination, and a medical questionnaire. Your central nervous system will be controlled through a scan using magnetic resonance imaging. An information session with a nurse will be offered to give you all the information related to this procedure and to ask all your questions. You can take the time to think about it and even go home to discuss it with your family, friends or family doctor. Once the consent form has been signed, an appointment will be set based on your availability and the following instructions will be given. Plan about two hours for the whole procedure. Be accompanied for the way back home. Rest on the day of the procedure. These instructions will be recalled to you by phone the day before the appointment. On the day of your appointment, the nurse will prepare you for your procedure. She will measure your vitals, ask you to put on a gown that facilitates access to your back, and apply a cream that will numb your skin in the lumbar area. For research purposes, a blood sample will be taken. A venous line will also be installed to hydrate you with a saline solution during the procedure. This precaution significantly reduces your risk of developing the most common side effect, headaches. They are mild and transient in most cases and are caused by a slight imbalance of fluids in your body caused by the removal of some of your cerebrospinal fluid. Know that this liquid is constantly renewed and that within one hour the amount collected will be completely replaced. During the procedure, three people will assist you with the objective of making this procedure a pleasant experience. A nurse will accompany you throughout the procedure, a doctor will perform the lumbar puncture, and an assistant will take care of your samples of cerebrospinal fluid. If you would like, some background music may be played during the procedure to relax you. Once lying on the bed, the nurse will guide you into the position required for the procedure. This step is very important in order to open the space between your vertebrae as much as possible and thus facilitate access to the so-called horse's tail. A pillow will be placed between your knees, your back bent forward, your chin towards your chest, and your shoulders aligned on a vertical axis. The side rails of the bed will help you to maintain this position. It is also possible to do the lumbar puncture in a sitting position, again with the back and the neck bent forward. The nurse and doctor will then place their equipment to perform this procedure in a sterilized environment. The skin of your back will first be disinfected with a solution that has been warmed for your comfort. During this process, you will always be in the presence of the nurse who will inform you about the progress of the procedure. Do not hesitate to share your feelings or possible discomfort. Remember, this procedure must be painless. The procedure ends with the application of a band-aid on the site of the puncture. Once you are on your back again, the nurse will take your vital signs and ask you about your general state. It is now time to rest for about an hour in a calm atmosphere in dim light. After 30 minutes, 
the nurse will ask you to sit in a semi-sitting position and will ask you again about your general state. She will take your vitals and offer you a snack. If a headache occurs, the nurse will put you back in the supine position. An acetaminophen tablet may also be offered if the headache persists. You will receive some precautions to follow for the next 24 to 48 hours. Avoid hot baths. Limit physical exercise, such as lifting heavy loads, bending forward, stretching, shoveling, or gardening. Avoid sexual activities. And what to do in case of persistent headache. Before you leave, the doctor will perform a brief neurological examination. The day after the procedure, the nurse will call to follow up on your health and will ask about the presence of side effects, if any, and follow their progression until they are resolved. The volunteers that you have seen in the film are real research participants for the prevention of Alzheimer's disease and are part of a group that performs a series of three, four, five, and even six lumbar punctures. Because of their cerebral spinal fluid donation, they have participated in the joint effort against neurodegenerative diseases. This is a considerable and generous commitment that will benefit future generations.